my absolute favorite movies growing up was Tron. Now, all of that neon craziness just looked absolutely insane. Now, today, I'm going to attempt to rebuild my favorite vehicle from that movie, the Tron bike. Now, this is going to be pretty damn hard because this bike has like all, like there are so much shapes to it. It's absolutely crazy. There's pretty much not a single straight line. So there's going to be a lot of micro blocking. There's going to be a lot of detail and it's going to be a lot of fun to build. So you know what? Let's just start out right away, you know? So one of the first things I'm going to have to figure out is exactly how I'm going to make these really nice, perfect wheels. Because guys, the thing about Tron wheels is that they have holes in them, which is kind of crazy, which makes them also look so cool, but it's also really hard to build with. So yeah, let me see right here real quick. So I have a pretty good idea of how I might be able to actually do this. So I'm going to place a block right there and then I'm going to use this this like really like age old technique for making curves, which you do just like this, where you place a block, place a block below, place a block, place a block below, place a block that you rotate and place a block below. It's a very useful little way of doing this. Yes. So let me actually do this real quick because this is going to become our very first wheel. Now, one of the things you might be noticing right now is like, dude, this wheel is way too big for the actual build. And you'd be right. So I'm actually going to have to fix that in just a second. Also, I'm building this out of wood. Obviously, the final build isn't going to be made out of wood. Like these are both things that I'm going to have to just quickly fix. So yeah, this right here is the actual wheel itself. So I'm going to delete everything that is extra, and which is all this stuff around here. And let's see, I'm pretty sure that what I can do right now is I can just go in right here and like just create a wheel as small as I want it to be. So let's see how big that wheel would be. You know, I feel like that would actually, this looks about just the right size. Perfect. Okay. So now all I need to do is actually place my blocks and just go around like this. All right. Yeah. Perfect. So yeah, as you can see right now, I pretty much just have this entirely filled in circle. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go place my actual wheel blocks, place one on there, and I'm just going to scale it over. One. And I'm going to keep doing this all the way around. So I'm going to just go like this, place one, scale it in. Oh, oops. Wrong way. Wrong way. Ooh, like that. You know what? Actually, I'm doing this wrong. I got to be smarter. I'm not smart enough. Dude, look at this reference I have, man. This is so hard. Ah! All right. So I figured that everything was just getting a little bit too cramped in there. So what I actually did is I actually made all of these blocks a little bit thinner. So yeah, if I now actually scale all these in like this. Yeah, as you can see, I'm getting these perfect little build areas right now. This is exactly what I needed. <laughs> So yeah, guys, from this point on, it actually makes everything I need to do so much easier. So the Tron bike actually has like a bunch of slants on it and stuff. So what I can do right now is all I need to do is I just rotate this a bit and I give it one of those. And as you can see, if I do this as well to the one right next to it, like they perfectly stitch together. That's perfect. Yes. God, guys, I finally finished building the Tron bike itself. This took literally forever. These shapes are so hard to work with. Like, look at this. I started recording this morning. It's 2 a.m. All right, guys. But regardless, look at this thing, man. It looks absolutely sick. I am so happy with the way it turned out, man. There's only a couple more things that I need to figure out, guys. Let me show you. So if I hop onto my bike right now, right, and I get ready to ride it. All right, look at this. Yeah, it doesn't work. It's not working. There is not a single part of this thing that bloody works. So I'm going to have to figure that out first. <laughs> but actually, I have a pretty good idea of how exactly it is that I'm going to make this thing work, guys. Let me show you. So I was thinking about this a little bit, right? Like, do I actually want to make this a bike or do I kind of want to cheat? And I came to a conclusion. Uh, I I I'm going to cheat, guys. Every single bike that I, that I managed to find on YouTube seemed to be a little bit wonky, right? It would just be not quite stable enough for me to really race around at ultra fast speeds like I want to do. So this is what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to actually be using car wheels right here. So yeah, look at this. It's actually going to be a pretty clever system. Okay, here, look at this. So the first two wheels are actually going to go in there just like that. And as you can see, there is just about enough space to actually let it move perfectly. And I'm going to place another one right there, just like so. So yeah, I'm actually going to do this on both sides right here. So I'm also going to do it in the back. Oh yeah, baby, that looks perfect. All right, perfect. So all I need to do is select all of these things right here and actually make them invisible. Oh yeah, baby. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all and I'm actually going to deselect the wheels. And now I'm going to just turn off collision. So let's see, how would this work? Oh, oh, oh my God. Okay, wait. Oh my God. I went so fast. 
I literally flipped over immediately, bro. Dude, this is so sick. Look at me go. Drum bike. Hey! Dude, this is dope. Now, guys, there's something clearly missing. As you guys can see, I added in an exhaust. And in Tron the movie, they have these really, really cool looking like lightning trails. Now, I really want to have one of those. So I actually looked around and I remembered this video that I recorded on Reddit. This guy right here made the light bike from Mad City. And as you can see, he has this amazing trail. And I just had to know how he did it. So I looked around a bit. I did a bit of thinking and I actually figured out exactly how it is he did it. Here, let me reload my Tron bike. Here, I'm actually going to widen these wheels a bit. I need more stability. All right, this should be perfect. So yeah, I don't actually think I need to make anything uh, collision off now either, which is actually better. All right, perfect. Yeah, this should actually work a lot better right now. So this is what I'm going to start working with. So yeah, let me show you the actual trick that lets you make these perfect, like, amazing trails. Okay, so okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to set your skill to the 0.4. Bang! As you can see, 0.4. You're going to grab blocks and make sure that you have it selected so, like, merging level is red. You're going to place a block, scale it down, place a block, scale it down place a block scale it down and you're gonna keep doing this all right keep going at this okay however tall you want your actual beam to be so actually this is probably too much for my exhaust i'm gonna like delete like two of them yeah probably something like that so then what you're gonna do guys and this is where it just gets absolutely genius you're gonna grab yourself dragon harpoons and you're gonna place one on top then delete a layer and you're gonna place another one delete a layer place one delete a layer and you're gonna keep doing it like this until you've placed a dragon harpoon on every single layer so yeah just like that oh i messed something up uh oh Okay, actually, before I'm going to do this, I'm going to place a lever right here. <laughs> All right, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to place a, uh, a chair right here exactly where it is that I want the harpoons to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach myself to the harpoons themselves. All right, let me save this before I do all this stuff. Okay, so I'm going to turn off collision and make sure everything is unanchored except that thing over there. And as you can already see, dude, look at this. Look at the trail. Okay, now I just need to place these inside of there. Okay, come on. Okay, so I need to actually measure this perfectly. So yeah, as you can see right now, where the actual line is coming from is perfect. So I'm going to sit down in this chair and I'm going to make a quick dummy save. Load it back in. Delete all this stuff right here. Okay, so everything worked perfectly. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to do the ultimate test. Select all, accept this one block right here and then anchor all. So what I can now do is I can actually move the bike and I can see exactly where the trail is coming from. I actually got to uh, turn all those uh, harpoons invisible real quick. Oh, this is actually going to be a pain in the butt in it. Come on, I got this. Just go slow. All right, that's everything. Boom. Everything is invisible now. Yes. Okay, let's see where the actual uh, trail is coming from. Oh, I just need to delete like 10 ones at the top. <laughs> I deleted a couple. Okay, I still got way too many. Oh, move it. Oh, okay. I think I need to delete two more. Oh, yes, dude. Look at the... I did ah, this the trail. I did it. Okay, push it back in. Anchor everything. Oh, my God, dude. The bike is done. Let's finally... Oh, <laughs> dude, it's working. Look at Tron. Oh, my God, dude. This is perfect. Oh, my God. Dude, this is by far the coolest thing I have ever built, maybe. Dude, this is amazing. Okay, dude, I'm so proud of myself. I'm just gonna invite people into the game. I want people to see this thing. All right, guys, people are joining the game. There is no way someone has the Tron lines on a safe slot. Oh my God. Oh, I fell over. Wait. Okay, wait, I gotta roll over. Dang it, I'm an idiot. Okay, wait, I gotta go back to my safe. <laughs> dude, I'm going over that ramp right now. It was the last thing I do. All right, baby, let's go. Time to go over that bloody ramp right now, man. The other way around, it was maybe a little bit too steep, a little bit ambitious. Let's go this way. Oh my God. Let's go. Fire! <laughs> yes, dude. Oh my God, dude, this is amazing. Oh my God, dude. I am I'm so happy with this build. Guys, if you wanna see more videos like this where we just build absolutely insane stuff, please subscribe right now. We're so close to a million. I mean, come on. But yeah, guys, with that, I'm gonna be ending off today's video. Guys, if you haven't already, like the video and subscribe to the channel. Turn on your notification bell if you haven't already. And guys, I'll see you all in the next one, boys. Peace out, everyone, and bye-bye. <laughs>